So Whitby is one of the best rated seaside towns in the UK. But what makes it so good? Well I'm going to be checking out some of the main attractions, walking along the harbour, trying out some fish and chips to see what this place is actually like. So the first thing I want to check out is called 199 Steps. It's one of the top attractions on TripAdvisor. So let's go find them, climb up the steps and see what's at the top. Right, I think this is it. I think this might be the start of the 199 Steps. Let's head up. I wonder how long this is going to take me. You get some handy benches all along the path, just in case you get a bit tired, you can have a sit down on your way up. Check out the view that you get from up here, it's pretty spectacular. You can see the harbour, and you can see both the piers and how they line up. I think I might have to check those out a little bit later on. I think I'm getting pretty close to the top actually. Am I near the top? I think I am. So that was a little bit quicker than I thought actually. It only takes a few minutes. So it looks like this is St Mary's Church. We've got a bit of a graveyard outside. I think this would look pretty spooky at night. But is the church open today? It doesn't look like it is. It's closed. But let's head a little bit further because I think there's something special a little bit further up. And I think you might be able to see it in the distance. It's Whitby Abbey. One of the top attractions in Whitby. And actually the inspiration for a Dracula novel as well. Let's go a bit further and see if we can have a closer look. And I've made it. Here it is. Welcome to Whitby Abbey. Let's head in. Okay, I don't think this is the way into the Abbey. Let's go back outside. So it looks like it's closed for the visiting. So I'm here in the middle of January, where it's only open Wednesday to Sunday. So if you're coming to visit this place, these are the times when it's open. So this Abbey was built in the seventh century. So it's been here for quite a while. I think it's amazing that it's still standing. I don't think there's anything left to check out, so let's head for some fish and chips. Let's go back down the 199 steps. And I'm back down at the bottom again. So it doesn't actually take as long as you think. A couple minutes on the way up and a couple minutes on the way down. Check out this cool little street that I found. Kind of reminds me of the shambles in York. So you've got these really old style looking buildings and shops in a cobble street and it's quite a tight cobble street too I'm just walking down the street and I found this little pottery alleyway do I dare go down this alleyway let's head in is there going to be something interesting at the end of this I think it's a pottery shop There's a little pottery shop in this alleyway that I found. And then you've got, I think these are houses. But there's some pretty cool pieces. Have a look at these. There's some nice pottery pieces back there. So if you fancy some pottery in Whitby, check that place out. So I think this place is supposed to be good. Papa's Fish and Chips. Let's head in.
I went for the fish and chips at £11.99, a mushy peas at £1.89 and a pot of tea for £2.29. The batter on the fish was so crispy and so light, it was delicious, it melted away when you bit into it. The fish as well was so soft and juicy and moist in the middle, you can definitely tell it was fresh. They were using haddock here and you can taste the flavour of the haddock. This has got to be one of the best fish and chips I've ever had. And the pot of tea finished it off nicely. Right, I think it's about time we check out the main harbour, promenade and beach. And if there's time, an ice cream. So I think this is one of the main sights to see at the harbour. This big massive pirate ship. It's called the All Up Bar and Grill. So if that is actually a restaurant, I think that's pretty cool. You get a pretty scenic view from here. Check out the water and all the houses as well. I think this has got to be one of the fanciest and most creative recycling bins I've ever seen. Check this out. It's a massive whale. I want to go out a little bit further along and maybe get out onto the pier. So I think this is the main promenade area. And I think if you walk a little bit further up, there should be some amusements. Let's go check it out. So a lot of the places are closed because it is the middle of January, out of season. Candy Rock King. Maybe I'll visit there a little bit later on. Funland Amusements. I think this is the only amusements that I've seen that's open today. We've got one here called Pleasure Land, but that's closed. So I guess there's no pleasure happening there today. Okay, so this is where I wanted to go. So I want to go all the way out there and check out the end of the pier. There's a seagull on top of that woman's head. I'm getting a little bit closer to the end here and I think I can see a really big... Is that a lighthouse? I'm not sure, but let's have a closer look. But I can also see a, a sort of bridge. And then the pier goes out even further. And there's people crossing the bridge too, so I think I'm going to definitely do that. So I've come a little bit closer to the lighthouse and I'm not sure if it's still functioning. In fact, I don't think it is because you can't see through. You can't see any lights. So you've actually got two piers here. You've got this one that I'm on now and you've got one on the other side. And they're pretty identical. But I think it's an interesting design to have two of these both extending out to the sea. And then you've got a narrow gap right in the middle for boats to pass. Extreme danger from wave action during rough weather. The weather's not that rough today, so let's head on out. Is it just me or is it a little bit scary walking out on piers that are made from wood? And then you've got these massive gaps in between the boards and you can see straight through to the bottom. It's a little bit nervy. But I'm going to soldier on and get to the end. I'm almost there. And there looks to be some sort of big tower at the end. I'm not sure what it is. But let's have a closer look. So I don't really know what this is. But they've got solar panels on it. It's green. There's a ladder. If anybody knows what that is, comment down below. And I've made it all the way to the end. You've actually got a really great view from the end of the pier here. You can see all the way out to sea. And there's a couple of boats out there too. I don't know if you can make that out. But it's a pretty cool view. I've just spotted this ladder going down. I'm not sure if you're allowed to go down there. 
shall I do it? I think it goes down onto a bit like on that pier there, a section down there. Shall I go down there? Let's do it. And I've made it down. This is like a tunnel right under the pier. Check that out. I think from the sign, this bit is for fishing. I kind of feel a little bit safer down here than I did up there. Does anybody know why they've got the section down here and the sort of main pier bit up there? Why didn't they just have this as the main pier? Comment down below. Let's head back up. Back on solid ground, let's head back. There's quite a few interesting things to see on this pier. You've got benches all along for you to sit down. You've got these viewing telescope things. Cost 50p. And then you've got, I don't know what this is. I've seen quite a few of these along the pier. It looks like they're made of wood. But what are these? I've just made it up to the whalebone arch area and have a look at the view from here. With the setting sun across the town and the buildings. Looks pretty special. And that's where I was a few moments ago. The end of that pier there. The view from up here is just incredible. Have a look at this. And here it is, the Whalebone Arch, one of the famous must-see sites in Whitby. Are these real whale bones or are they fake ones? I think they might be real. I've just found this residential area of these curved houses that go around this park. Kind of reminds me of, I think it's Bridlington where they have something like this. Is that seagull dancing? Right, I think there's only one thing left to do. Let's go check out the beach. I do like the signs that they have around here. Extreme danger from wave action on this slipway. This must be a surface paradise with all the wave action that they get. So it looks like the tide has come in quite a bit. So I'm not sure how far along the beach I can walk, but let's give it a go. I don't think I can walk further on than this bit. The tide has come in quite far. A few moments ago, I was on the end of that pier just there and all this bit was beach and sand, but not anymore. Okay, so if you like the video, click on the thumbs up icon below, click on subscribe to come along for the next journey and I'll see you in the next video.